Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to take a moment to give a huge shout out to Greg, who's really helped out a lot with this channel over the past year, as I've been extremely busy with work and school. Greg has brought many great videos to the channel, and he's starting up a new channel called Cool Classics, which will feature the same types of videos he's brought to Comageddon TV. So be sure to keep an eye out for his channel, and I'll be sharing his link in the future. Now, on with the show. Candy canes. Look at all these. What's going on here, huh? A million styles. Hot candy canes. Sour candy canes. What do I see? Oreo candy canes. Come on. Things are changing. What is the story with candy canes anyway? How did they become to be such a thing? How did they start? I don't know. Who invented them? When? Fake candy canes full of candy. Huh, it's still candy and a cane, all in one. So I bought some candy canes. These are the cherry flavored ones. Yeah, don't be scared of cherry flavored candy canes. <laughs> I had to look up the whole candy cane mystery and here's what I came up with. 1670 in Cologne, Germany. That's way over there if you're way over here. See how that goes? And then <laughs> it was in church the choir master couldn't get all the little kids to be quiet while they tried to do their performances. So he was thinking about it and one week he thought, I'm going to give them candy and they can be like sucking on the candy and that will keep their mouth sort of shut, right? <laughs> well, he went to the local candy maker. Those are pretty cool to have around, little local candy makers. And he said, I need some sugar sticks. And I said, no problem. I have these. They're white They're like this. And he goes, you know what? You can form them into any shape. And he goes, yeah. He goes, well, could you put a little crook on the top so it looks more like a, a shepherd's staff? That way I can tell the kids this is a shepherd's staff, but it's also candy. And then they'll be more inclined to, you know, think about the Bible and the Christianity involved and the choir, and they will watch and enjoy their sugar stick. And that's how it happened. It started like that. And it was just a white candy cane. No stripes, no cherry flavor, not even peppermint. Well, not yet. So from there, it just spread throughout the churches and eventually all around Europe. It always stayed around the holidays, nativity plays, and it had the Christmas themes to it. And then eventually, it just was sort of adopted as one of the traditions of Christmas time. It wasn't until the 1800s when they put the stripes on it first, and they were peppermint, striped, and there you go, you had the red and white Christmas candy cane. <laughs> Just like the stocking is based off of the whole tradition of the red and white striped candy cane. See, you can put one in here, and you know what you can do? You can go put these all around the house if you want. Santa was here. Uh, looks like a good place for a candy cane. And you get one of these, and you get one of these. We're going to put it on your arm like that. Oh no. You know what? We're going to go ahead and hook you right on your hat. Now one of the most well-known traditions with the candy cane is hanging it on your Christmas tree. This will be the first ornament hung on the tree this year. There you go. A candy cane. Looks perfect. Now one of the other things you're supposed to do, and don't forget this, this is important. You're supposed to actually enjoy the candy cane. You can go like this, mm, get a taste, and you can crunch it. When I say crunch it, I mean crunch it. <laughs> Candy canes, they're good. There's all kinds of freaky flavors out there now. You know the history? Don't be scared. Enjoy them. Talk to you in the future. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.